sometimes you predict an upset and you're wrong and you just feel terrible after that because you know you should have picked the other team because everyone else did and you thought too hard about it and you got burned but when you are right it is the best feeling in the world okay not really but it feels damn good and I would know right now because while my one upset pick did not come true my other one did the Carolina Panthers not only beat the St. Louis Rams it wasn't even that close well Carolina pulled away at the end but Carolina doubled up St. Louis um, let's see what do we have here Jake DeLome a guy that I have bashed and you know I'll come clean with that I I don't think I think his clutch factor is overrated I think he's a marginal at best regular season quarterback who's been lucky enough to make a couple of good plays in the postseason and he's still riding that success even though that was so long ago um pretty solid today 18 and 27 201 yards three touchdowns um, Steve Smith, his favorite target, but he found room for Drew Carter and Jeff King. And, you know, all these other guys, you know, he had a solid game. Running game got on track. Foster with one of the best games of his career. We all know his injury history, and he's not a great running back. I, in fact, I think D'Angelo Williams should be starting. And he played a little l lesser than Foster did today with the, almost the same amount of carries, but... I think D'Angelo Williams has all the potential in the world to be... He reminds me of Emmett Smith, and I don't think he's going to be as good as Emmett Smith, but that's who he reminds me of. And, um, you know, for most of the game, it was a punting contest. I'll say that much, which was weird. I expected a ton of offense in this game. But Carolina came out on top, 27 points. Um, you know, their offense, got to be pretty happy with how things went. Um, and, you know, d suddenly Jake DeLome's not looking over his shoulder for David Carr. Defensively, Dan Morgan with seven tackles, and it's got to be great for him. Welcome back, Dan. I thought his, I thought his career was over. I thought he was just going to retire, but nice to see him back. I mean, defensively, they got, a, they got after the quarterback a little bit, forced a couple fumbles. Um... You know, not overpowering by the Carolina defense, but they stopped the Rams from scoring, and that's not easy. For the Rams, who would have ever thought that Bulger would suck and Jackson would suck in the same game? Well, Bulger didn't suck, but he was a lot weaker than what you would normally expect to see. 22 of 42, 167 yards, one touchdown. You know, that's not worth $65 million. That's never going to be worth $65 million. Um, and at the same time, Jackson can't even top 60 yards. Even if you add in his receiving stats, he barely tops 60 yards. And, you know, that raises a collective groan from every fantasy owner in the world who took this guy at number two overall because he was gone within the first three picks in any sane fantasy league. That's the truth. Um, you know, Holt continues to shine in spite of not being 100% with that knee injury. In spite of him playing for a division rival, I love Torrey Holt. And every game in which he does something like this, where he just continues to be an efficient machine, um, you know, just shows to me what a great player he is. Keep an eye on him in that milestone tracker. But otherwise, the Rams defense was not able to get anything done. Matter of fact, three of their points came off a long special teams return by Dante Hall, so there you go. Really, their, their offense earned 10 points. And defensively, they were getting gashed in the running game. They let Del Holm kind of throw all over them. They were kind of lucky that Carolina decided to... Um, Carolina had a couple of miscues that allowed the game to turn into a punting competition for quite a bit, but... Uh, in the end, you got to be worried about this defense. It just doesn't look very good. And, you know, I'll say, also say this. Carolina got lucky when they fumbled on the three-yard line. I thought, well, there goes the momentum. I think the Rams are suddenly going to win this game. But they held on. Credit to them. 
and um, oh yeah, from my 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 sources tell me that Orlando Pace is done for the season. He has an arm injury, and I understand he's to be um, you know checked out further. But I understand he might be done for the season, and this is a catastrophic blow to the. St. Louis Rams. This takes away the blindside protection of an immobile quarterback. This takes away the run blocking on the left side for Steven Jackson. And you know, I you guys know who I root for. I'm a Seahawks fan, but I hate seeing great players, no matter what, go down. And Orlando Pace was one of the league's greats. He was a super freak at offensive tackle. He can run with the best of them. But he can block with the best of them at the same time. It's insane. So, you know, Rams fans, if any of you are out there, I'm sorry you lost him. That's a tough loss. And last year, after the Rams lost pace, they went nowhere fast. Um, you know, good luck to you guys for the rest of the season. Um, and that's really all I got to say about that. So, uh, moving on.